Hello everyone, how you doing? Boxy charm time. This is my first ever of me receiving a boxy charm. I have never ordered um, boxy charm before, and I was just like, I really am in need of some new makeup, something that. Because lately, I just haven't been knowing what to get. I've been like a little bit in the dark lately. But I thought BoxyCharm would be a great way to try and sample new stuff. So I was really excited for September's because they were going to be giving out some really fun goodies. So I was really looking forward. Yes, I did the sneak peeks. <laughs> so this is September's 2018's BoxyCharm. I already cut the seal. Woohoo! And it is BoxyCharm. Yes, BoxyCharm. And it is the Wildflower. And it has all the prices of everything, the retail values of all the items. And what we call it so let's get into this box yes boxy charm and let's see here we ended up getting the Laura Geller in Tropic Hues which this is the one item I was really super stoked about because I love Laura Geller blushes they are so freaking bomb if you have not tried them you should look at that color wow like this Ooh. people say that it's like um I can't see it in here with this color sorry I'll post swatches on my Instagram and Snap, so follow me there. Uh, Instagram, West Coast Angel, and on Snap, West Coast Angel 2, and you guys can check them out there. I'll post the links down below so that way you can just click and you'll be able to go find them. But I'm sure if you were to also Google them, you could also find them, and if you were to look on BoxyCharm, you'd also find their um, swatches available there, or the Laura Gallo website. So yeah, I was really looking forward to this to add to my collection, yes, can you look right there, Let's see if we can do it, yes, there we go. Then I also got this Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick, which I do not own any Lorac uh, liquid lipsticks at all. Um, I'm not really a fan of liquid lipsticks anymore. Um, I've only been, I kind of sort of a short term fan of them. Um, anyway, I got a really beautiful color, and this is in Dusty Rose or Rusty Rose. Dusty Rose. So let's see here. It looks like a really pretty rosy color. Oh, very pretty. Very wearable. Oh, there you can see the blushes. There you go. Very, very, very. Mmm, smells great. Can't wait to try that. Put that there. How's that? And then we also got some brushes, and these are from Alamar Cosmetics. Um, I've never tried Alamar Cosmetics either, so it's nice to see uh, something different from them. Um, I always, always love makeup brushes, so I always appreciate them. So we'll check these out. Let's throw this over in the trash. How's that? Um, oh, okay. This one looks like it'd be nice for some packing on some color. This would be great for packing on color. This one would be great for that. And then this one's kind of like a little bit of a liner brush. Kind of a little bit of soft. But you can also use it to put eyeshadow on the bottom line. That would be on your bottom waterline. That would be nice for that. Let me see if they say what they actually do. I don't see that on here. But either which way, they look like nice brushes. This one here, I'm kind of a little bit on the defense about. It's a little too flimsy for my taste. But it could be used probably for me. I'd probably use it more like for a highlighting. Use it for a highlighter. Or if you need to like really, really fluff out and blend out some eyeshadow, you could probably use it for that. It's a little too much flimsy for me for that. But it has a little too much bend for it. But it would work for that. But I think I might use this for a highlighter brush. But, you know. But anyway, that was from Alamar Cosmetics. And then we got Butter London's Strong... Oh, Butter London's Stroke of Wow Liner. This interests me because I suck at putting eyeliner on. <laughs> and it has a little roller ball. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Like a little roller ball. And you basically... Here we go. Let's do this. Oops. Ooh, there we go. This should be interesting to see. It's gotten a uh, little mixed reviews, I've heard. So we'll put that there so you guys can see it. Is it there? Can we put it there? How's that? Can you see that? There we go. And the last item we got in our boxy charm was this Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, from what my pictures have seen, it was a very cool tone eyeshadow palette. So if you're not into cool tone, you probably might not like this. Um, I go in between both, so it doesn't really bother me not oh but look at that it's really actually really nice now uh, you got some nice glitters some mattes 
some nice cool tone grays and yeah I think we can make that work it's pretty workable palette if you're into neutrals but this is a very cool tone palette so if you're into cool tone colors this is a great great cool tone palette for it um, we'll just swatch a couple of, of um, one shimmer and two mattes there we go we'll do that how's that and then we'll put them here some nice pigmentation right there some pretty nice pigmentation all right ladies and gentlemen this is my boxy first boxy charm that I received uh, for the month of September I'm looking forward to getting more and um, trying out some new products I will be doing a video using these looks so look forward to watching that and I will check you guys out later talk to you later bye